uh, good day viewers uh, welcome to this week's episode of the tales of the beautiful game where we discuss nothing but uh, the world's beautiful game as Pele would call it uh, my name is Bayo and with me here is Mr. Ndete who is going to be taking us through uh, week 10 of the English Premier League games I'm not sure if uh, he is ready to predict for me the Liverpool Arsenal game but we'll get there when we reach it eh? welcome to the show Mr. Ndete Thank you, Bayo. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Um, we have been having a, a quite nine, a quite enjoyable nine games of this season, uh, with Arsenal take, uh, surprising many. Uh, we are getting for the week ten. Yeah, we're getting ready for week ten. Uh, the games, the other games were postponed because of the passing of the Queen of England. Mm -hmm. So. It's like it's week nine, but yeah, it's week ten. So yeah, it's yeah, quite exciting. Eh? It's we quite are also, we're also having quite exciting games with teams coming out from uh, Champions League. Yeah. Any? Uh, do you think that will affect some teams before we go through the predictions? Yeah, um, uh, in my experience, I've seen uh, this uh, Champions League thing uh, it, uh, usually affects teams uh, um, in the. Uh, weeks of in the uh, weeks of uh, February uh, uh, in the last when going to the last team. last the phase the knockout stages eh? yeah in the knockout stages in the in the group stages usually uh, look uh, there are teams like uh, Manchester City who will be playing at uh, teams like maybe say Copenhagen their last game they won five minutes yeah uh, Manchester City on With paper team, versus, yeah. versus Copenhagen cool. it's a given uh, uh, Manchester United versus uh, Omnia uh, on paper it's a given look Arsenal were playing what is the name Porto Klimt um, on paper it's on another, paper is it's another, another given so Arsenal, yeah yes. I, even uh, the, the lineup going uh, to the lineup uh, Ateta selected last night uh, he could tell you that he is uh, he knows that uh, this this team is not it's a, a team that is, yeah it's a lightweight so uh, but then in February, when we go to the knockout stages, it's, it's, it's very difficult because you'll be facing Porto, you'll be facing a Juventus, yes, you'll, you'll be facing, facing a, a similar. Yes, no, so no, those games are very, very it's tough. Absolutely. It's understandable. So, yes. Okay, uh, so our first game this week uh, it's Bournemouth versus Leicester. Uh, Bournemouth have failed to score in their last three home games, while Leicester is considered 17 away. And uh, 17 away calls are away from home, <laughs> and all their four away games have seen both teams score. It has become a PTS, and Bournemouth have drawn three and won one since O'Neill took over, and uh, Leicester ended a run of six consecutive defeats. It's uh, it's, it's 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 quite it's quite interesting states here. What do you see? What do you think will be the outcome of this one? Yeah, Leicester uh, have surprised many uh, with their uh, sluggish form because uh, they have the players and uh, your James Madison. Yeah, yeah, you have the Pans, you have a uh, So you 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 think that uh, they they wouldn't have him, uh, only one win after eight games, but this is the EPL. We're talking about anything is possible. So um, we saw them, the team we're talking about, winning the league in 2016. Yes, yes. So anything is possible. But um, I think Leicester has become over the years a, a very competitive side. And uh, their slump in form was something that is not going to surprise last me forever. Me. Yeah. So I think uh, the win... The, the, the money you win boosted their confidence and uh, going into this game uh, against Bournemouth um, their, their confidence is high and I tip them to take this one because um, what's, what's the scoreline? What do you think will be the scoreline? The scoreline let me just say it's a win for Leicester maybe by two calls to nil Le Leicester uh, win says Mr. Ndeti here Two nil to Leicester, isn't? Yes. Okay. Um, our next game is Chelsea versus Wolves. Chelsea are coming from an exciting three nil win against AC Milan. It's uh, it's actually exciting to see Chelsea score three goals in a Champions League game. And it seems Graham Potter is uh, cooking something there. 
Okay, and uh, if you look at this, uh, the stats of the two teams, Wolves haven't won an EPL away game since March and couldn't score in their last three away games. And Wolves have scored only three goals in eight league matches. <laughs> <laughs> and they've managed one draw in four away league matches. And the last two games, eight between the two finished as a draw. We are talking of a team that have been scoring, but uh, the year to year it seems that the last two games have been draw. What do you think? Do you think we are seeing another draw? I don't uh, trust Chelsea uh, yet to be in the in cruising mode. I think uh, Graham Potter is still getting the creeps at Chelsea, and uh, they are not uh, a shoe in to win this one. Uh, Wolves, on the other hand, they are a good team. They play very good football. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they don't win, but they always play good football. They always play good attacking football. They are very good attacking players. Yes. Like Podens, <coughs> and the, who's that guy is Nunes, yeah. Yes. yeah, they have those guys, and those guys can run rings around any defense. And Chelsea, sometimes uh, you can see their defense gets easily exposed, but you never know. Uh, Porter is maybe seen something there. They are midweek Champions League win, maybe boosted their confidence. And they won against Crystal Palace last game also. Yeah, it was a tight one. Uh, yes. They came against Crystal Palace. Yes. Uh, actually, uh, in my view, was won by moments of individual brilliance. Uh, but don't you think sometimes you need those moments of Sometimes, yeah. You cannot live on that. Sometimes you, need, you really need yes. them. But some, Especially when, when, yes. when the games are, when the games <laughs> are like coming tough, thick and yes. fast. Like this yes. one, you need you those cannot, individuals that come yeah, You cannot rely on individual brilliance every day. Sometimes. So what do you think is going to be the scoreline? I, I, yeah, I think this one is going to be tightly contested. Uh, I think Chelsea will take it but by a slim margin. Both teams will score in my opinion and the Chelsea will take it by a slight match maybe 2-1 okay a 2-1 win yes for Chelsea you say yes okay uh, the next one Halat FC versus Southampton oh sorry Man City versus <laughs> Southampton <laughs> okay Man City you are right <laughs> Man City versus yeah. Southampton okay uh, to my view it's now turning out to be Halat FC side okay uh, City has failed to score twice City failed actually to score twice in EPA last season and in one of those games that they failed to score, it was a Kenneth Southampton, whom they are playing to, uh, to, uh, tomorrow, yes. And Man City have scored three or more goals in eight consecutive EPL home games. And they, they average five goals per home EPL game. This is mm, stunning. While it, it's been a year since Southampton kept an away league clean sheets, City are, all, are the only side unbeaten this season. The state's favors Manchester City. Everything seems to be going Manchester City's uh, way. What, uh, what, uh, what's your take on this one? Uh, this one, uh, if uh, it was, uh, if, if man, there was nobody called the Holland, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we will uh, spend a lot of time on it and uh, assessing this. Case. But um, Holland is a, is a master of city. So we, if uh, he. Because he's human, they, 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 they actually is a joke on the online that they are petitioning the, the government to stop to him from game. playing because he's a robot. But we know he's human, it's just a joke. Mm. So maybe one day he, for, he will forget this. But if he doesn't forget his Do you boost, think it's anytime soon? Not anytime soon. I don't see it happening anytime soon. Not anytime soon, eh? Yeah. But uh, he was pulled out at the break. Um, uh, in the midweek Champions League game, I don't know if it has it had anything to do with but, the uh, game plan I've, or. I've seen I've seen Pep doing that in the Champions League. Yeah, game. yeah, he uh, already had done his job, so I suspect he was pulled out because uh, the game the game he, he had already been won. What's so, the scoreline? So uh, I think he will be there and will be doing this thing, his thing, and uh, this one I'll say four or more goals, City win. Another trick for Alad, do you think? Probably. <laughs> cannot Probably. be ruled out, but he's going to score. And uh, he's a shoe in to score, no, even if it's not a hat trick. So, a, 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 a thousand rand Alad to score. It won't one. even pay you 50 rand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's move on. Alad to score 
10,000 will give you 500, eh? if 1,000 can't give you 50, okay, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> then our next one, it's uh, Newcastle versus Brentford one. Uh, Newcastle uh, have been level at halftime three of their last four games, and Newcastle are unbeaten at home. And Brentford are winless away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> other time when I was here, I, I, I said uh, to my host that um, the problem with draws is that they give you an illusion that I'm not losing. Yes. So maybe you, you will find you, you feel comfortable. Yeah, you feel comfortable to then. fix because you are not losing. Yes. But actually, draws are as good as losses. Yeah, so yeah, Lucas' problem points. is they 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 they, they, they came the trauma, comfortable trauma. with draws. Yes. Uh, Come to that later in another petition. I'll yes. tell you about those. Okay, uh, Newcastle. Um, since they uh, became under new owners, they uh, want to be the new big thing, but uh, they are still far away from Good that. Part, yeah. yeah, I think Brentford is very stubborn. Brentford is very stubborn. Uh, but they haven't won any game. Yeah, and they are winning this away this season. Yeah, um, yeah, you cannot bank, you cannot bank much on that. Okay. Yes, this season, but Brentford is Brentford. Ah, this one I see a draw. It's a draw. This one I it's see a draw. Do you see any yeah, scoring or, draw? Yeah, scoring draw in in both teams to, to score. score. Yes. Okay. So you have already given our, our predictors a draw result. BTS yeah, over two point five. Yeah, if, 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 <laughs> so, if we are so this one, try, try, try that. Yeah, <laughs> this one is open. I'm not a gambling person, bio, but uh, for those that do it, uh, try that. that okay, <laughs> might get rich. Yeah. Okay. Then uh, our next one is uh, I, I seem to like this one that I'm about to ask you about the Brighton versus Bears one. Brighton yes. coming from a three-three draw against Liverpool. Take the lead, uh, twenty lead, first half. Came back from half time. They find themselves trailing uh, three two, uh, showing character, scoring late in the game to get a a draw, uh, and a spare side uh, which seems uh, which to me seems to be a uh, very uh, very rigid to say. Uh, versus a, an interesting uh, Brighton, what do you think? Because now we are talking of two teams, and either one to me, uh, Spurs is a bit, uh, it's a bit uh, uh, traditional. Then uh, Brighton looks to me it's uh, a team that is new in the mindset. What do you think? Yeah, Brighton is fairly new boys, but they've been in the uh, league. They have stayed in the league for a number of years now. But yeah, they are fairly new boys, but. Um, Spurs have been uh, one of the teams, actually, I think there are four, if not five, teams that have never been relegated since the, uh, EPL. the EPL came to life here. Yes. So, uh, I think uh, Spurs, it's, it's fair to say they are the, they are the big boys here, yeah. but they are away from home and... Uh, and they haven't been good away from and, home. And they haven't okay. been uh, impressive this season. They managed to grab the, the, the important goal they yes. need but uh, they haven't been uh, very convincing but do you think uh, Conte will allow to lose two games in a row you, you don't allow to lose by you lose because <laughs> the opponent is better <laughs> but better. Uh, yeah. no matter how good you think you are if the opponent is better they will beat you and okay. if you, th you think so, I don't want but to lose do you think uh, Brighton is a better opponent to, uh, to space going to this game yeah, going to this game, I think. Uh, is it, uh, has, uh, uh, am I correct? Uh, is it number three, four, three, five? Yeah, it's in the top four. Brighton four. is number is in the top four. Yes. So it's number three and number four. Yes. Okay. So who is who is winning on this one? Um, this one will be a draw. Okay. This one will be a draw, but uh, for the benefit of uh, our viewers mm. who bet. Uh, I would advise that they uh, bet uh, Brighton to win or draw. Well, it's a Brighton if there's, draw. Yeah, if there is a winner, it will be Brighton. But so you're not giving Spurs any chance on this one? I'm giving them a chance of a draw. So the least that they can get is a <laughs> yes. draw. Oh, okay. But I, I think uh, they will win this one to one. That's for me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then uh, that, it's actually the last game of the day. And uh, 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 there's this theory, I'm not sure, I just wanted to check something. There's this th theory with gamblers that talks of first game and last game. Uh, if the, fa the, the favorite in the first game win, the favorite in the last game lose. Have you ever heard of it? Yeah, 
Head coach. Yeah. That's right. I I I I am head of it. Mm. But uh so on this one you you're giving Brighton is, a favorite take. Uh, that's yeah. That's <laughs> <Okay>. like <laughs> it's like uh the stories people talk about, but uh, they don't work. Sometimes they work, but uh, <laughs> okay. sometimes okay. they don't it's, work. It's let's, let's, let's move on. Eh? Okay, uh, now we are moving on to the Sunday games. Eh? Okay. Okay. Uh, our first game on Sunday will be the Palace versus Leeds game. Uh, both have gone uh, four leg games without a win, two wins and two draws. And Leeds haven't won on the road on this campaign, while his Palace have won, drawn and lost twice. Uh, what do you make of this one? This should be an exciting game. This should be a very exciting one. Um, is Palace exciting? Palace, yeah, Palace are very or, exciting. Or they are tactical. Yeah, Vieira is, is, is a tactical manager, but I find something lacking in, in him. Uh, his, uh, I don't know what I can call it, his, his players' concentration in the last 10 minutes of the game uh, is suspect. It's a suspect. I, I, I have, last season I counted six games where he, he, they, either they considered a, a goal that condemned them to defeat in, or an equalizer in the last 10 minutes. So okay. that is a, even last the last game where, where they lost to Chelsea, they yes. lost in the, in the, last, in the 90 minutes plus minutes. Yeah. So that is a, a problem that Vieira seems to, to not be able to fix. So what? But, uh, what's uh, the score of this one? I, 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 I tip... Uh, Palace to win this one. Leeds are a good side. They are going to give them a, a, a tough time. They, they, are, they are also going to score. So I'll go with a, 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 a Palace win plus BTS. What teams will score, but uh, Palace will take this one. Ah, okay. Great, great, great. Let's move on. Uh, West Ham versus Fulham. I think it's the London Derby. Yes. Uh, inconsistent Fulham travels across town to the London Stadium without their talisman Mitrovic, who has scored nearly half of their league games. They are going to this game without their their main men and West Ham won their last six year to year matches with their last loss to Fulham as far as 2004. And uh, Fulham goes to this game without Mitrovic and they haven't beaten uh, West Ham as far as back as 2004. Do you think a surprise is on the card on this one? No, I think this uh, this, this is a big two settings for Fulham. Two settings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fulham looked uh, very stubborn in the first uh, few games. Okay. Maybe they were securing oh, points so points. that when the fighting uh, the gets tough, fight gets tough, they will be having so, uh, some in the pack. But so, uh, look, West, West Ham are seasoned campaigners in the in the Premier League. Um, they they seem now to know to stay in the uh, safe zone in the league. Uh, um, even. Uh, Two seasons back, the other season managing a European place. So, West Ham, I tip them to easily take this one. Okay, it's a straight win to West Ham. Straight win, they will win 2 knee. 2 knee to West Ham, okay. Uh, uh, then, Arsenal versus Liverpool. Yeah, the big one. <laughs> yes, the very big one, actually. <laughs> uh, Ma- Michael Ateta is doing wonders there. Log it as uh, Arsenal, we have a joint second best defense so far. Welcome Liverpool, we have been won on the road this season. Arsenal have won all four league games they played at the Emirates Stadium with both teams scoring. And Liverpool has, however, won on their last three visits to Emirates with clean sheets. Uh, it's, it's, it's a tricky one, it's an exciting one. Arsenal, uh, I'm not, I won't say there's this, there's, there are. They will stay in that position for a very long time, but they know that a lo- uh, if they lose this one, they won't, it, it will be difficult to get the, that position one again. Because if Man City win uh, on Saturday, they will top the league. Then if Arsenal fail to win against Liverpool, it will be difficult for them. So what do you think? Do you think uh, it's already uh, it's, uh, the pressure is already there to the Gunners, or it's still early to say no? Even if Man City win. Uh, for less before we go uh, to this prediction, it's just it's generally thinking. Do you think if City win on Saturday, it's gonna put pressure on Arsenal on Sunday? A, a, a City win is it gonna put Arsenal under pressure on this Sunday game? No, not really. I think uh, Arsenal, rather than pressure, mm-hmm. uh, they have confidence. 
Uh, mm-hmm. No one gave them a chance. If you told me, even uh, if you told me in the, at the beginning of the season that uh, by game, by week mid, week ten, Arsenal would be on top of the league and leading Liverpool by a, a significant nine points, eight nine points, yes. I would have told you that you're crazy. But uh, look, that's what is happening. Um, so that 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 should bring confidence instead of putting any, yeah, anyone under yeah. pressure. Okay, so a, a city win won't affect an Arsenal? No, uh, no, it shouldn't affect them. It shouldn't affect them, yeah. okay. Then a Liverpool loss, what you, what do you think it will, uh, uh, it will do to Jurgen Klopp and these boys who seem to be struggling? Actually, they are struggling because they are not winning games. They have been throwing off late. So uh, if, if, if they lose against Arsenal, or what do you make of? Yeah. Now, uh, if you lose against Arsenal in the league, no matter who you are, you know that you lost to a big team. So, if you were to if you are to build your 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 season around losing uh, against Arsenal, then you might get something wrong because uh, losing to Arsenal, losing to Manchester City, losing to Liverpool, losing to even Manchester United, United, United yes, yes, yes. to Chelsea. You, you 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 no matter who you are, you know going to those teams. You, you, no matter who you are, you can lose. So, to Liverpool, it's not going to be a, a, a big deal if they lose. It's going to be a big deal because they'll draw, they, they need the points more than uh, Arsenal at this and, point uh, in and time. And if Arsenal win against Liverpool, uh, to me, they will automatically say to Liverpool, we are out of the slick race. Okay, then let's go on. What's your prediction on this one? Yeah, this uh, I, I, I'm saying Arsenal will take this one. Uh, will take this one uh, clean. Uh, I see a, a, a tight Liverpool. I see a tight Liverpool. I see their key yeah. players uh, bend out. Uh, and I see uh, the uh, Arsenal's young guns uh, blazing. I, I see them. They, they, they are very confident. Their confidence is, is very, very high. high. Yes. So. Uh, if they, 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 they really focus and forget about Manchester City, uh, materially, uh, Manchester City is, is better than everyone. Yes, uh, Even, I think, in Europe, could be said to be better than everyone in terms of uh, men, men, men power on the field. So, they shouldn't worry about Manchester City. They should fo- focus on Liverpool. And uh, if they are focused and they get the uh, Ateta gets his tactics right, this is a straight win for us. Oh, this is a straight win for yes. us. Okay. I, I, if you want to say me to say the the, the goal, the, the score line. Yes, if you have, <laughs> if you have one in mind, you can help. Yeah, yeah. I think a two a two nil in favor of Arsenal will be safe. So, be safe uh, but Bobby Firmino won't score this one. He has got a good record against Arsenal. You say. Uh, Mohamed Salah won't score. He's also got a good record against Arsenal. Certainly, Sadio Mane is not there anymore. But these two. They've always uh, scored against Arsenal. So you're saying a 2 0. Do you think Liverpool won't get, a, get even a consolation? Yeah, this one? The, the records sometimes tumble. Look, mm-hmm. I'm looking at the form. Yeah, sometimes the records work. Mm-hmm. But now I'm looking at the current form mm-hmm. and the performance. The Arsenal defense is good. Mm-hmm. The Arsenal defense is good. Uh, the only team that managed to score uh, more than two goals, they've actually considered uh, more than two goals. Only three times this season. Can so, many, no? yes, and against Leicester, okay. where, where they won. Okay, okay. for time factor, uh, this, this we can have it the yes. whole day long. Yeah. Okay. So, the, the defense is good. Uh, the defense is good. I think. Okay. Uh, but, uh, but I'm not uh, sure about Gabriel. Uh, yes, uh, Salib, I can uh, see. But Gabriel, I'm not sure. Everton yeah. versus Manchester United, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Everton play was uh, to a United side coming from a, a double thrashing, double lesson, actually. Uh, that was a double lesson for them, and after four consecutive, uh, they've been uh, writing high. They won prior to the city game. They won four games, uh, finding themselves to uh, going six one up to 80, 80 something minutes, scoring two late goals by uh, Marshall, and an Everton side that have been lost in their uh, in their that have that lost first two games. Uh, Lampard side started uh, slowly to say. But they are now starting to uh, pick up. They're starting to pick up the point. They are playing in Manchester United side, which is less convincing as well. What do you think? Um, Everton uh, are, are picking up uh, their form now. They are picking points. They, 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 they won their last game. Mm-hmm. Um, they are at home in this one. Yes. Manchester United have a, 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 a good uh, tactician, uh, uh, Ten Hag. 
um, it's going to be a tough game. Yes. Look, Manchester United, uh, they, when they won against Arsenal, uh, it was because uh, when the game was still uh, delicately balanced, uh, the, 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 the manager was clever enough to spot the uh, weakness to exploit and he exploited success, it successfully and ended up winning the one. In the game against Manchester City, unfortunately, there was Haaland. Um, when he, 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 he realized the, the danger and uh, uh, tried to implement his tactics, it was too late. You never come uh, back from a 6 1 lead. <laughs> so, but uh, uh, to Manchester United fans, uh, I'm told they won 3 2 in second half, so you're right. Uh, then he's a good tactician they, because they, second half they won. The they game. actually say, uh, separate Holland, they won 3 1. 3 1, okay. So, <laughs> so, so because so, of his two assists, <laughs> and three, three, three goals. goals. Okay, <laughs> so so many won that game. Yeah, that's what they say. Okay, so what's your what, what what's your verdict on this one? Uh, I'll, I'll give it a draw because uh, Everton, uh, as they are, they are also no pushovers and they are at home. And the Manchester United is not yet polished, and uh, the reason why um, I'm talking about the the, the, the late win, the, the late win against Arsenal, and the the, the, the late search so against Manchester City, City is, is is to show that this co the, the, the coach is still learning. He reads the game and makes substitutions accordingly. He doesn't uh, have it doesn't have a team yet that he, he can, can send trust. out. And say no, I trust you but for I, eight I, minutes. I, I, I respect him for uh, for so long. I think he, uh, we are seeing a, a new Marcus Rashford. Uh, even Marshall is is coming here and there. So I think going forward, we will see a different Manchester United. Our last game of Sunday it's Everton versus Manchester United. Then we move on to the Monday game, which is uh, Nottingham Forest versus Villa. Nottingham uh, Forest. Two teams with Champions League that Arsenal don't have. So. What do you think <laughs> of this one? Yeah, Champions League winners actually. Uh, former Champions League winners. <laughs> when, when, when maybe when maybe you were not born yet. Yeah, okay. when they were. But uh, <laughs> history is there for us yeah. all. Okay. So uh, what do you make of this game? Yeah, this is going to be a tough one. Uh, Forest is very stubborn and uh, uh, like uh, uh, Fulham, they seem to want they seem to want to gather uh, points. Uh, early so that when the going gets really really tough they have points that can uh, save them from relegation okay. so yeah um, Villa is struggling Villa is struggling but uh, I'll give uh, Villa this one okay. I'll give it to Villa uh, they, they, they know the they know the going the go in the EPL they, 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 they know all the corners so they are not going to be pushovers. Eh? Be pushovers. Uh, they are not going to allow a uh, forest to, uh, uh, to take things to them. I think they are going to. This is going to be a delicately balanced game, but Villa will take it. Okay, Mr. Andetti, thank you very much for your time and most important uh, for giving us a fairly balanced analysis on these weekend games. And uh, looking forward to seeing you again in our programs. Thank you very much. Sir. Okay, thank you, bye. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, uh, to our viewers at home, thank you very much for, uh, for joining on to us. Uh, don't forget to subscribe on Tales of the Beautiful Games. Eh? Thank you very much. Bye.